this is my first Zelda, so I have no biases or nostalgia to anything. Motion controls. Or should I? Because if I do motion controls, I don't know if I'm allowed to sit. I, I really want to play Breath of the Wild before the sequel comes out, but I will mostly stick to that timeline. It's part of the experience? All right, I'll get the damn, I'll get the damn Joy-Cons. I'll get the damn Joy-Cons. I don't want to use motion controls. Uh, motion controls kind of make the experience more immersive. Yeah, I, cause it is a tale that you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. I gotta read this. It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which have never been seen. So this is chronologically the first Zelda. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked and things popped out of the ground. Is that Sans? They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving their land into despair. They burnt forest, choked the springs, and murdered? I thought this was a kid's game. I thought Zelda was for children's. You can't say murder in the opening. That's too violent. Look at those sick beards on those town folks, though. They did all in their lust to take the ultimate power. Yo, she, she nice, the goddess. Look at all those dorks. Is the great item a harp? A crown? The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, the power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. So I could walk up to it and say, feet. Such was the might of ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. It's split into parts. To prevent the great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the land. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. Is this canon? She sent it skyward where the demons couldn't get it. And I bet it's a sword. I bet it's a sword. I bet it's a sword that skyward. I bet it's a skyward sword. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them underground. At last, peace was restored to the surface. Does this just play every time I boot up the game? I like cutscenes that autoplay when you boot up the game. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends hidden away from memory that are entwined with this tale. I'm doing coke. Now a new legend of Zelda bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. Just if you leave it on for a while. A legend that will be forged by my hands. Clouds. Yay. Okay, what should my name be? Should it be Link? Because if I make my name like Francis, will everybody call me Francis? Because that'll break my immersion. That'll ruin my immersion if like Zelda refers to me as Francis. Should I, should I just stay Link? Okay, I'm just going to stay Link. I'm just going to stay Link. I made this joke before. <laughs> oh, Jesus! So this is the Earth? This is the Earth? I'm in too deep now. That's gonna be my name in every one. So if we go down to Earth, that. No, not Link Ara Ara. Link Ara, as in. <laughs> Animal Crossing voices. <laughs> I like the art style a lot. Because it's like cell shaded, but it's not. It's like paint strokes. It looks really, really nice. 
Rise, Linkara! The time has come for you to awaken! You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you! The time has come for you to awaken! Jeff Bezos fast travel. Linkara! You, you know what's gonna be really ironic? Is that after I beat this game, I'm going to enjoy it so much that I'm gonna buy the amiibo just to burn! And then I'm not gonna get to take... It, I'm not gonna get to use it for its intended purpose. I'm just gonna buy it to shelf. Look at this dork. I have anime figurines. Am I gonna do the main 3D games? I'd like to do the 2D games. I hear the 2D games are some of the... Okay, it just... It just... That's one of those gunshot birds. That's a real bird, and those birds are sick because literally they just sound like gun. Okay, I have an idea. Basically, buy one of these birds until all your neighbors hear this non-stop, and then you can kill anybody that you want in your basement, and they'll just assume it's your bird. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Linkara. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Oh, it's from girl! <laughs> Is Link hot? Link is hot. I gotta say, Link is hot. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best game ever made. This is so immersive. You, you're allowed to just sit. You're allowed to sit. They programmed sitting. Uh, morning, Linkara. So today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone is out there practicing at the plaza, but you're pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that Crimson Loft wing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident riding him, too. You could ride me if you want. My bird won last ceremony, but I don't think I could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. As something of a scientist myself, so you know if you ever find yourself in need, you can come talk to me. So, that's just our outfit. Because I know Link's got his stupid green outfit, but does everybody just wear these stupid hats? You look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I... Okay. I'm going to assume that there's no plumbing and that the hole just drops. The hole just drops and like every time you poop, it just falls from the sky world down to the earth world. Good job, Link. It even flushed. Where's the toilet paper? Good question. You're supposed to wipe your ass with the mop. Let's see, where's a good chucking place? Maybe here? I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get over that. Hold on. <gasps> okay, so I'm trying to see if they have like any Burger Kings around here. They got a lake? Which, how does that work? I'm not a scientist, but what is the water source? Because there's a waterfall and then a waterfall. So how is the wet? Where is the wet coming from? If... I'm not going to overthink it. It's magic. It's magic. It's just sum it up to magic. It's just magic. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the woman. It's the woman. Oh my god. Is she my girlfriend? Is she my girlfriend? I need to know, is she my girlfriend? Or is this like, 
bros type of thing. Oh, youth! I'm just gonna let her sing. I'm not singing. She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> Good morning, Linkara. Oh, she's adorable. She's got a uh, weenie hair. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sus you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument. Look at this outfit. They're mine. I get to use them in the ceremony. Okay, guys. One of three things is going to happen. A, we're going to get attacked by demons and they're going to kidnap Zelda. B, we're going to get attacked by demons and they're going to kidnap Zelda. Or C, what is wrong with Link's face? Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's like the one the goddess had in the legends. Sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it and it's called a harp. And look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself and we get to use it today. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. She's 17. I didn't say she's hot. I said she's adorable. She has weenie hair. <laughs> I didn't say, damn, I want to lick her ears. Her scary elf ears. Okay, she's asking how does she look? Does she look nice? Costume, you look great, or, uh, I'm going to say that she's wearing a nice costume. What exactly is that supposed to mean, you goof? If you think I look silly, come out and say it. To <laughs> look at like he's like, <laughs> there you are, Zelda. Are you prepared for the ceremony? Oh, hello, father. I bet her dad's smoking hot. Ah, oh, Linkara, you're here too. Outstanding. Ow! Oh, God, he looks like an owl. I look silly. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Mm. After one today's ceremonial race, I'll get to participate in the post-race. <gasps> Ritual with Zelda. He's basically saying that whoever wins this race gets to marry and copulate with his daughter. That's how they do it. If you want his daughter's hand in marriage, you have to win the race. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Linkara hasn't been practicing and he kind of sucks. He looks like an owl. Even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird. You see, Lankar and his loft wing share a connection. Are you allowed to eat your bird? Each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings. The guardian birds the goddess dispose upon each of us. Okay, so we each get one bird. I mean, no one could stop you. They just feel really bad. It's like it's like if a town gave everybody their own, like, wolf or dog on their 13th birthday and then one of them ate them. And like, there's no rule saying I can't. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue. It's a big moment. Ah, but that first meeting between Linkar and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing, so rare we were sure it had vanished. Yes, and the boy and the bird seem to share a profound connection. <laughs> you recall when Linkar and the loft wing first met? What a sight! The little boy hopped up on that bird and flew away. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were, I'd say the friendship we shared with this bird didn't go unnoticed. Can I summon my bird? 
I just quack and it flies at me. Chicken sandwich. Wanna listen to some amazing music? Perhaps? Listen, Linkar, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice. Come on, you'll thank me later. Here we go. Jump! Uh, excuse me? Huh? Oh, yeah, you can't sense your bird? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel. Oh, 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 okay. So, you can sense if your bird is nearby. And she's like, just jump and your bird will save you. And Link's like, my bird's not within five miles of here. And she's like, good one, Link, LOL. Off you go! <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die! He's like, uh, Zelda, I don't think he was joking. I- I don't think he was joking, Zelda. I think his bird is not here. Something's wrong! Ooh, she just left! Look at her go! Damn! She's like, she's like, I pranked him good. Hang in there, Likar, I've got you! <laughs> she just grabbed me! Panic! Link was falling and legitimately just thought his life was over. Ooh. Are you two alright? I'm sorry, friends. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing. Why is she making sure the bird is okay? You pushed me to my death. This is very odd, Linkara. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. Linkara, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry! I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is. Link nearly fell to his doom, and Zelda's like, how's my massive bird that just saved you? <laughs> birdie, birdie, birdie. Damn it, I'm going to fail by forfeit if my bird doesn't show up. Ooh. How did it get to be so late? If I recall, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding. Linkar, you should go explain the sitch to him and see if you'll delay the race. You're the headmaster of the academy. If Linkar asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come and talk to you about it. Oh. Quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point. Very well, I'll explain the sitch myself. Linkara, go tell Instructor Horwell and see me in my quarters. You know, Bruce, that sure was a pain, what with all that scratching and pecking. <laughs> oh my god, the Chad! Of course it was! You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a. Is that Ringo? He's literally just the Chad. Like, he's literally built like Chad. Like, I'm 100% sure that Chad is modeled after Groose. Chad hangs with Ringo. Such a Chad. <laughs> oh my god! But we got him! And I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> Just join the Chomic Discord. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, cow is so hot. Uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You need to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Bruce, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up at the Statue of the Goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for whips. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Ooh, say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that little scruffy pile of feathers? 
I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by the clouds and got lost? Uh-oh. Uh, don't anger the Sigma male. No, nice hair. Nice hair. <gasps> you lay off my dude right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal, it doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. But you wake up, straighten up, and grow a big bone already. Dupes like you were dragging our honored academy through the mud. <laughs> and just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. <gasps> oh, Zelda. Hey, it's just... I'm, I, I hope she just runs up and kicks him in the balls. I like, I like when characters are just terrified of the girl. <laughs> she's, she's scarier. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Linkara again, aren't you? His music got so sad. Look at Ringo in the back. He's like, oh man. Oh man, nobody says Zelda was coming here. Oh my god. <laughs> Groose is like 30. He's a student at the academy like all of us. Oh, why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You're supposed... It's literally the meme! It's literally the meme! It's the stupid... It's literally... It's literally this, but Groose is the cat. <laughs> it's literally the same image. But on, but on the right, it's just Groose crying. <laughs> you suppose? Suppose what? I... I suppose you were... Uh... Oh, he in love. What kind of guy wants a girl to bully and berate them? He just like me? He just like me for real? Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Bye, Ringo. Okay, what well, are you boys? Later, Link Car, I hope you find your bird or else you're gonna have to sit out at today's race. That could be a major setback to its knighthood, so find that bird of yet the different different there's taste of defeat, it's your special flavor. <laughs> Everybody comes up except Ringo. It's good stuff. Oh, that's menacing. You don't like the sequel? I actually like the sequel bet. Yo! Okay, so, uh, I was supposed to go all the way up here, and I guarantee there's some sort of story thing that happens, but I just accidentally found my bird. So this is what I needed was a sword. If your comic book movie isn't stupid, though, then what's the point? I'm going to kill Bruce. No, anybody can post links. I'm really glad that we have No Nut November uh, out of respect for those children. Linkara! Hey, Linkara, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird, so I thought I'd fly around. How's your search going? Any sign of bird? Hmm. Oh no, well, let's not lose hope. There's a place up ahead that Groose is always hanging around. <gasps> huh? Who? Who that? Who's calling me? Woodlouse, if you're smart. Sorry, Linkara, I got distracted. Let's go. 
Uh oh, something's going on. Ah! <gasps> Look, there he is. How the hell did I see it earlier? Did I just have a vision of it? That's your loft wing, Linkara. I better save it. Skill issue. My baby. <laughs> Funny bird. Okay, bye. Bye, I guess. Jurassic Park. Zelda puzzles take attention to detail. Well, then I'm going to fail this game horribly. You should hurry, Link Car, and now your loft wing is free. You got better go to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard a voice a few moments. Did you hear it? It's been happening a lot. It's the strangest feeling, like someone's calling out to me. You ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's empty, barren, or that there's nothing at all down below, but I have a feeling. Like I was saying earlier, I like stories where civilization is in a secluded little area and then somebody leaves and then it's either really nice and they didn't know or it's infested with monsters. You know, like a Gurren Lagan kind of thing, just like the good stuff. Some of our father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, but our loft wings can't fly through clouds. You do know clouds aren't a solid thing, right, Zelda? But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. The surface? Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Could it possibly be from the opening? Sorry, Link Car, we don't have time to talk. Let's get going, your bird's waiting! We jump down there and there's just a million demons and monsters. And we're like, oh, I, I guess that opening was actually being honest. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna leave. And then my bird is just dead. And I'm like, well, I'm stuck down here. Leap off the edge and press down. I wonder what Ganon's up to. Is Ganon even in this? I don't think Ganon's been born yet. fly back and tell father what happened. Oh, no! no. Oh, well, if it isn't Linkara. Word around the plazas, you found that dumb bird of yours. What's going on with the top of your headphones, but? Oh, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups mean the guys did were for nothing and I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still just can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own. And don't think we haven't noticed the smug look. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Yes! You think you're pretty suave, don't ya? Well, don't ya? Bruce has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He really got his pompadour in a ruffle. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess, and I ain't gonna be the one to claim that sale, Glath. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way am I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. It has happened, oh god. That sail clock, Zelda. Zelda's... Wait, wait. So if you win the race, you get Zelda's clothes? That seems odd. 
It's more odd that Groose is very excited about getting her clothes. I'll turn him back on after this cutscene. I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Oh, I can see it now. First I win the race and then Zell, then I finish the ceremony, and then she takes off her clothes for me. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. It's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Gross! Gross! Behind you! Right behind you! What can't you see I'm in the middle of? In all honesty, like, what would happen if, like, a girl heard you talking about, like, taking her clothes? Do you, do you think that would make her not like you, or... <laughs> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment? <laughs> oh, nothing big, I just... Likara, I was telling my buddy here how glad I was he found this bird. Boy, I'm looking forward to a race. Anyhow, later, Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> That's strut. I just need some love. <gasps> hey, Groose, wait up. I want to learn more about Ringo. Ringo is so cool. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are less than zero. Yo, we got fart birds. Teal, I said assholes are fun to a girl because they called an acquaintance of mine an asshole. Assholes are fun. Is there only four people competing? Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Linkara, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules. I have attached a small statue to this bird. Oh, it's just a squibbage. A squinage? A squoolage? I don't know, that thing from Harry Potter. I've never seen it. On my signal, dash and dive, and once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statue will be this year's champion. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class. He's literally just Ansem. He's literally just Ansem and Xemnas combined. You will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is the 25th anniversary of our institution. To celebrate the occasion. Was this game came out on the 25th anniversary of Zelda? Because that'd be fun. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. As you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> Zolgo! Some nerds... It actually was? That's awesome. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering will answer to me. Cool. It goes double for you, Gruus! Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. Hey. Hey, uh, Linkara, uh, the competition. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Link's like, listen, I gotta take a piss. I, I gotta pee, I'm sorry, I, I really gotta pee. Oh, you jerk ass! That's not fair, you just slammed me! Gross, I swear to God, I will kiss your mother. I will kiss your mother on the mouth. Oh, you, you penis. You are a penis. You are every single penis ever made. Oh, I was so close! is using his psychic energy to levitate it. I won! And now Zelda and I get some alone time. <laughs> the camera! <laughs> oh. 
I miss her and she's just, <laughs> I just hear scream. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great fly, Linkara, congratulations. Now we better get on with this ceremony. I take it Groot is having a bad time. <laughs> Groot's just screaming in agony. Great goddess, guiding light, your protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. Yo, the goddess is looking good. This is Zelda's lullaby backwards? Ooh. I haven't even heard the original song, so I would not know. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways. I think it would be really cool lore-wise if, like, that's the original song, but then, like, throughout time as the legend got passed down, some guy, like, found the sheet music but read it backwards. And then, like, that's how that Zelda lullaby became a thing. It was just some guy discovering the old music and just reading it wrong. Can't wait for You Can't Fix That to become the biggest meme of 2022. And now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Give me your clothes! The blessing of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass upon you. Girl, you need to eat a cheeseburger. You need to eat a cheeseburger, you freaking skinny. You are built like a literal plank. <laughs> you are built like a plank wrapped in like Walmart plastic sacks. Eat a cheeseburger, damn it. You got the sailcloth. I'm going to assume that like that's the parachute. Like, whenever I jump off a high ledge, I use that as a parachute, which is hilarious. That, like, I'm using my best friend's shirt as a parachute. You can now jump from any height without taking pain. It smells so good. Oh. Oh, it smells nice. Zelda is literally standing two feet away. She's standing two feet away, and I am holding it to my face and taking deep whiffs. And Zelda's like, Link? 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 What do you... Link? And Link lowers it, and he looks at her, and then he puts it back up and starts sniffing again. And she's like, I should have let Groot win. Not Groot! Groot, damn it! <sighs> then Kara, quick! Goofing. This is a sacred. Oh, so she saw me sniff it. She saw me sniff it. She's like, oh, you stop goofing. The link looks at her. He's like, I'm not goofing. You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. <laughs> Bad things going to happen in literally 22 seconds. Time to finish the ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? I'm not, I'm, I, this is not allowed. I'm not allowed to do this. I'm not allowed to do this. I mean, good for Link. Good for my boy. But, uh, I'm gonna sit this one out. Uh. <laughs> Zaz just, uh, no, uh, Acorn just said you get sacrificed. Here I am thinking that she's gonna kiss me. She pulls out a ceremonial dagger, and she's like, Link, every year we have to sacrifice one person. You pass the test, which means you're the sacrifice. And Link's like, uh... I can say, uh-oh. <laughs> and just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Linkara. I'm gonna make Link canonically, like, the biggest virgin ever. She's like... And Link's like, uh-oh. 
Uh oh, ew, cuties, ew, ew. Oh my god, it is a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. She's like, you have to jump off this tower until that until that marking. You see that little marking on the ground right there? You have to jump right on that. Your blood has to seep into the ground. To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the middle of it. Leap off the edge, and right before you hit the ground, open the sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you're really fearless, you'll wait until the last second. You're amazing, Linkara. Third time's a charm. Imagine if Groose would have won. He would have jumped off and deployed the parachute and, like, kept falling. He's too heavy. You know, Linkara, seeing as how you won today... Teal, you're two and a half hours in and you're still in the tutorial. Yeah, but some sometimes games got long tutorials, you know? I mean, Kingdom Hearts 2 has like a four hour long tutorial. You, 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 you gotta get, you gotta get a merpsed. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, fly together? Sam, she's 4,000. Sometimes you have to indulge and take all the flavor. Yeah. Linkara, hey, Linkara! <laughs> Today was amazing watching you win it performing the ritual. I do like how we're bonding because she gonna get kidnapped. She gonna get kidnapped. She's gonna get kidnapped. I mean, she's Zelda. She's gonna get kidnapped. So I like how they're at least making you like her. So that, like, it's not like Mario where, like, in three seconds of booting up the game, you're like, yo, Bowser took Peach. Bowser took Peach. She gone. Why do I think she's going to be kidnapped? I bet my... You know, Linkara. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Here it is. The kidnapping. What is that? Rip bolt. Tornado. What's going on? That's not Ganon. That's a tornado. That's the fart tornado. I thought she was going to get kidnapped by Ganon, but she got kidnapped by a natural disaster. 